Good morning, everybody. What a better way to start the morning than a video about coffee cups. Because coffee lives in coffee cups, and I have a love affair with coffee. Some people don't like coffee, and I don't understand them. But I suppose you could use a coffee mug for tea. Fun fact about me, I have a collection of coffee mugs. It used to be much bigger, but I narrowed down my possessions and uh, I'm clumsy, so I broke several, so I have a lot less. And I also try not to compulsively buy anything, so I don't have a million coffee mugs, but boy is it tempting. So I will show you the few that I do have. This is the most recent edition that I'm using right now. Life is too short for bad coffee. Absolutely true. Next up is the Theo's mug. It says, where the sun never stops. There's a restaurant that has a lot of heritage around here. And right before they shut down, which is unfortunate, they shut down, they're bought out. Then the new owner ran it to the ground and it got plowed over and no longer exists. Uh, it was one of the few places that was open late that you could stay at, and uh, it has a lot of history. In my relationship and uh, with my partner, he brought his daughter there when she was very young, and everybody grew up and hung out at this restaurant that no longer exists. Right before they shut down, they got fancy coffee mugs in different colors, and I would always get the orange one because it's my favorite color and my boyfriend would always get a yellow one so he bought me he asked if they could we could buy the mugs from the restaurant and he bought the set that we always got and he bought me the orange one and I promptly dropped it and broke it and then the restaurant shut down and he looked through every thrift store in town repeatedly until he found another one and I promptly broke that also. So the only one I have is his mug and someday maybe the universe will deliver me an orange one to match and complete the set. This is my coffee as medicine coffee cup. What does it say on there? I'll just fill you in because it's, you can't really read it. Prescription coffee. It's got the RX number, Dr. Harold Feel Good, Mr. Java Espresso. Drink one mug by mouth, repeat until awake and alert. Daily grind, quantity 12 ounces of black gold. Refill, sure, expires when mug is empty. May cause alertness. A latte problem, such as the jitters, sleeplessness, bad breath, and irritability. I used to have a cup similar to this without the rim on it. It was just the orange part and the handle. And it was uh, even funnier than this one, but I broke it. Um, it I can't remember everything that it said, but it said something about, um, may make you poop, which I personally found really funny, uh, because I clearly have a strange sense of humor. She says behind her poop emoji pillow. Then there's this mug, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it's gigantic, big enough to have a bowl of soup in, and it has a big fat smiley face on it. This is the happiness channel, and uh, I work very hard to be happy. What better than inspirational quote is to have a smiley face staring at you in the morning while you drink your coffee. And I also have a thing for smiley faces, says the girl with a smiley face balloon slowly deflating in her apartment. Um, 
I saw this one day when we were out years ago. Set you free. And ever since then, every now and then, my boyfriend will buy me a smiley face balloon. Because he's sweet like that. Back to coffee cups. I'm sorry for what I said before I had my coffee. So true. I am not a morning person. It doesn't matter what time I wake up. I'm not a morning person. Before I have caffeine, I'm not necessarily angry. <laughs> but I don't even know my own name. Um, no talky before wakey uppy. It's way too peoply outside, <laughs> uh, says the former agoraphobic who's rather shy. Sometimes you just got to stay in, even if you don't have mental health problems. Sometimes you just want to be dirty in sweatpants and um, not see the people. It's way too peoply outside. That's for an in day. This is another coffee shop mug, um, bright orange and huge. Uh, Big B started in this area. They just also tore down the original restaurant, which is unfortunate. Um, it is now spread, but uh, this is more of a franchise kind of corporation than a local restaurant cafe, uh, like the Theo's Mug, but uh, we frequent Big B's. There's one right by my job that now due to COVID has weird hours, so we can't frequent it, but we go there during the fall and we'll bring like a chess board and, uh, that type of thing and just hang out and have a few cups of coffee. Um, I'll get matcha tea lattes, a latte, ah ha ha ha. And uh, he will get uh, mocha with extra shot and uh, extra whip and caramel. Uh, he likes his food and drink um, and doesn't gain an ounce from it and or he will get uh, a red eye which is just a lot 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 of espresso this one is in a set he has one and i have one i love you more than coffee but not always before coffee i got us both this i think christmas or an anniversary or a birthday one of the two um, I got us a set of mugs. Um, he's very much like me too. He requires his wake up time before interac interaction. Um, coffee before talking. I love you more than my coffee, which is saying a lot, but not always before coffee. This one I could not resist because it looks like it's even got the little wheels on it. <laughs> a recycling bin. We recycle. Yes, we do. We are planetary conscious, but I have spent many years um, with the profession, even in college, of a custodian. <laughs> and uh, so I could not help pick up this mug. Um, not that you want to think about work while you're not at work, but uh, it just cracked me up. So um, it reminded me of my many years spent uh, tipping these over and dumping them. And yes, recycle. It's good for the planet. You heard the story about the Theo's mug that I broke twice and we've never found another one. One of my birthdays... <laughs> He took a Sharpie on an orange mug and he made a homemade orange Theo's mug. It was sweet and adorable and so I kept it for my collection because that's too funny. He keeps trying to find the mug and he can't find 
the mug. And so he made a homemade one and it was really sweet. So uh, yeah, that's Cam, that's my boyfriend's art right there. Not half bad. This one is a Halloween mug. I thought it was really cool because I like things like this. Um, and when I narrowed down my mug collection, this is the only one that I kept for that time of year. Halloween is one of my favorite holidays, uh, except for one other one that I've had for years that came in a set with a cup and a bowl that uh, came from my partner that passed away. And so I couldn't get rid of those. Uh, but it's not necessarily exactly Halloween. Um, and this one is definitely Halloween time because uh, unless you're um, super gothic or something, why else would you drink from arsenic any other time of year? Unless you're watching a horror film, I guess. This is the other Halloween type mug. Definitely fall and Halloween. It's got a little spider on it. Cute little cartoony spider and the handle has a little spider crawling up the handle into your cup. It is just adorable. Um, and you can tell orange and Halloween have been my favorites for a long time. My uh, partner that passed away got me this and since I have this, I will show the matching um, bowl. This is a, also a huge coffee cup. So I've also had a love affair with coffee for a long time. This is the matching bowl. It has the same purple stripes that were on the lid of the coffee mug. And on the inside, you can really tell it matches. It's got stars and orange and a three-dimensional spider at the bottom of the mug, of the bowl so that um, when you have your cereal in the morning by the time you or oatmeal if you're me <laughs> by the time you get to the bottom there's a spider in your bowl um, so it's very juvenile um, admittedly but I can be very juvenile and so he saw this and thought of me and it was perfect uh, because, yes, it's oversized coffee mug, uh, it's Halloween, and you can eat and get excited because when you get to the bottom, you see a spider. And uh, I'm amused by things like that still in my mid-30s. Speaking of being amused by things like that in my mid-30s, this is not a coffee mug, but it lives in one of my coffee mugs. I used to... <laughs> have goldfishes constantly um, until I changed to a healthier diet. But uh, I used to live on them uh, years ago. And this was another thing that my former partner got for me. It holds goldfish snacks and it's shaped like a goldfish. And because it was up there and I was showing you my uh, juvenility, I thought I would grab it. I'm gonna stick it back in the coffee mug and grab another coffee mug. And there's this one, Namaste, in bed. Namaste is a yoga term, and as I have a whole playlist on yoga, you can see that I like yoga. I do yoga, not as much as I used to when I was in better health, but I still do yoga because it's good for your health and mental health. Uh, but uh, So this is a joke about being sleepy, not being a morning person and uh, needing coffee to be a morning person, and yoga. Namaste in bed. <laughs> and not do my yoga, I'm gonna go back to sleep. Very much me. Um, and that's why I have this cup. It's also another gigantic cup. I have a lot of oversized coffee mugs. This is a cup that lives here for my boyfriend. Uh, it says London on it. He took a trip to London, which has been his favorite trip of all time, uh, ranking up there at least. 
Um, he has a love affair with all things London after having taken a trip there. So uh, this is for him. So he has his own cup in my collection. This one I bought four of at Thanksgiving so that everyone could have their own mug and take their own mug home with them. Uh, and that is why I have these. And it's also uh, pretty cute. And um, happiness channel, count your blessings, etc. Think positive. So, uh, but it was for Thanksgiving for a gift for everyone. It's got veggies in that old fashioned bike bag and leaves on the ground. So, um, good message, cute cup. That's why I own it because I got everyone that for Thanksgiving. Uh, this past Thanksgiving. I have a couple of mugs that aren't even here. They're at my boyfriend's house, so uh, I might show them some other time. Um, donut, judge me. A co-worker actually gave me this mug. She got a set of them for Christmas, and I gave another one of them away as a present and kept one for myself. They are covered in donuts. Uh, it too is gigantic and oversized, you know, almost the size of my head. And, uh, I often have my oatmeal or my protein drinks in these giant mugs now and occasionally decaf coffee since I'm trying to switch off of the espressos because almost none of these cups fit in my espresso machine and I've been an espresso junkie for uh, some time now that's why they haven't been in videos lately is because I've been using the only cup that fits under my espresso machine but donut judge me great message uh, it's all over my channel and uh, haha donuts get it donut donut judge me okay that's all I got to say about that this one has got some wear and tear in its lifetime. It is peeling. It probably needs to be replaced if I want to keep it. Uh, there's this place called Impression 5 Science Museum where they do a lot of shows and stuff for kids. But every year pre-COVID, I would sign up for the river cleanup where you go around town and uh, clean all around the river kind of self-explanatory. It's a nature project that's volunteer and it was something I volunteered for every year. And then after I would do that with my job and my coworkers, uh, my partner would pick me up and it was always our location for cleanup was outside this uh, science museum for kids. We would go in and take a little tour of the science museum and he bought me this and I'm not so much into astrology but I do read my horoscope from time to time and um, know my sign and all of that. And this, when you put hot liquid into it uh, or cold liquid, the constellations come out. So you can see many constellations in the mug when you add um, hot or cold into it. But the, the stuff is peeling completely off the mug. So uh, if COVID ever breaks and we can do river cleanup again, I might have to replace this. Of the mugs I have here, uh, I only have one left to show you, so don't worry, we're almost, we're almost done. <laughs> this is um, something he got me for Christmas, this last Christmas. You are everything I've uh, wanted, I've wanted. He was looking for a sloth cup but he could find no sloth cups because I've recently fallen in love with sloths since I got chronic fatigue syndrome uh, <laughs> because uh, we, we have a lot in common, sloths and I now. Um, but I eat pretty much an avocado a day. Um, I know I'm a millennial. Uh, I don't want to hear it. LOL. I just said LOL. Um, I need more coffee in these cups. Uh, I'm not awake yet. You are everything Avo wanted. Uh, so he thought this was a second best to 
add to my coffee mug collection for Christmas since he couldn't find a sloth cup. Got an avocado. It's giant. I have a lot of giant coffee mugs. I also have my uh, oatmeal and my protein drink in this a lot as well. And last but not least, distance means so little when someone means so much. And that is Bernie and Nellie. That is my high school best friend got me that for Christmas. She made it herself. Um, well, not like hand made it herself, but clearly ordered it. Um, so I can get it in better lighting. It says best friends. That's me with my hair thrown up in that bun that I always throw it up in. And that is her. And we're wearing a matching leather jacket outfit which we would never do but that is kind of funny she's the same friend that I got the possum love shirts in my favorite t-shirt video and she sent me this for Christmas uh, a couple of years back distance means so little when someone means so much and it's us and uh, I love it so I don't use it. <laughs> I keep it up on a shelf. Which I'm putting it back up on now. Um, so yeah, that turned out to be a very long video. Way longer than I thought. Uh, for my coffee mugs. I got to go um, let the cat out and brush my teeth and wash my face and do my yoga and hop in the shower so that's about enough of that I'm sure I've actually got several more cups <laughs> that I didn't feature at least five um, and I used to have a lot more but like I said I narrowed things down uh, because you just only have so much room in your kitchen but yeah fun fact about me I collect coffee mugs I uh, hope you enjoyed that tirade somehow for some reason, maybe you love coffee as much as I do, and maybe you were just really bored, so you watched that whole thing. Um, I love you all. I hope you have a good day. Um, enjoy your coffee. Peace.